Hi Surge lovers, thanks for joining me again. I'll cut straight to the chase. Uh, this video is about uh, a pseudo random walk or random walk on the Surge TKB sequencer. Now, this is one of the basic things you can do with this sequencer, and I suspect that it applies to original Surge TKBs as well as the more modern versions of it. This is being done now on a, an original Surge Series 79 uh, modular system. Um, incidentally, the sound I'm using to demonstrate this uh, random walk is a basic sound starting from a saw oscillator and going through into, a, into the uh, phaser module and then from the phaser module into a low pass filter the variable Q VCF in low pass mode with quite a lot of the high stuff cut off it and uh, then I'm mixing just a little bit of the uh, phaser uh, 360 degree uh, phase into just just to add a little brightness. So this is the sound I'm using to demo the the random walk. So. Um, how does this random walk work? You can actually already see the random walk going on the lights of the of the uh, of the sequencer. Uh, basically, we have to clock the sequencer. So we have one dual transient generator coming in to clock the sequencer uh, from uh, so from the T DTG, uh, which is running as a clock. And that's to say, it's, the output is connected to the input. I put that into the clock of the sequencer. Then I have one reset point on the sequencer. In this case, it's going from, it's going over the uh, kind of end of the sequencer. So it's resetting from uh, 14, from so going from 14 pulse into the reset. And that's causing the reset but I could actually have more resets I could have more resets in different places and that might affect the the behavior of the um, of the uh, random walk somewhat but for moment for the moment we'll just take it with one reset point and then of course we can start the random walk point by selecting a particular place on the keyboard so I'll just demonstrate that in a moment but I'm going to I've set up the actual random walk pitches on um, on row D of the sequencer so so if I plug that random uh, that uh, row D of the sequencer into the oscillator then you immediately hear the random walk in operation and um, it's a random warp because it's switching from going forwards and backwards. And the switching operation is obtained by sending the same pulse that's clocking the sequencer into um, the stepped random module, which is part of the noise source. So that's triggering. If, uh, if we don't have that switching from uh, up and down then it will going only go in one direction but if we trigger we've got the output of the step random going in to control the up and down so basically we're sampling noise using the step random and then we're sending the uh, output of that uh, of whatever that's uh, level of noise is we're sending it to switch the up and down direction of the sequencer so that way we get it moving in different directions sometimes forwards and sometimes backwards the strange thing that is that it actually chooses the direction even though um, you're using that you don't you're not using any extra uh, trigger to you're just triggering noise to cho choose uh, whether it actually uh, crosses the threshold of up and down and if it does then it will turn it in the other direction. Uh, now there's a strange thing about um, 
about this uh, random walk is that if you actually choose the second key after the uh, the beginning of the new sequence so in this case the new sequence is here on 15 and if I choose 16 uh, in this case it doesn't seem to be doing it what what it often does often it's it takes more than one step on that second it's not doing it at the moment ah now now it's doing it. Ah, yeah, there you are. It sometimes do, does that. So that if you press the second step in the sequence, then it hangs around longer on that, which is quite an interesting variation. That could be if we turn up the rate of the sequencer. That makes an interesting feature that it, this random walk somehow locks into that. I don't, I'm not sure how that works on other versions of the sequencer, but on my sequencer that's the way it works. And then of course we can choose different starting points for the random walk. This is very, very bad on the sensitivity of the keyboard. Let's see what happens if we put another reset in, if that does anything interesting in this occasion. It's not always completely predictable. I guess that's one of the things about random, is it's not always predictable. Put another reset in. I'm sure you'll be able to find some other variations on your own machine. So, cheerio for now.